Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another round of Adoraiju Plays Deadly Creatures. Today's episode is Watchers. Who's watching who? Well, you'll see when we start watching for ourselves. You know what they say? Who watches the Watchmen? And the answer, my friends, is me. Because that was a pretty good movie. You should watch it, too. Okay, where the heck are we supposed to be now? Looks like we just succeeded in getting out of the uh -oh. Lots of dead bugs around here. Uh oh, it's a lizard! Oh god. What a horrible way to die. Mites. Try to avoid the swarms of blood sucking mites. You can destroy a swarm by performing the spin attack of the tail whip. <laughs> These swarms often hide inside one another, so you'll have to do the spin attack of the tail whip twice, and the tail sting from the scorpion will also dislodge them. But uh, with the tarantula, you'll just have to be real careful and try not to get any on you. You don't get any points for beating them, so there's really no reason for you to attack them in the first place. So just try to avoid them, like the game said. Like the good game says. <clears throat> Where are we now? Stuck in the brambles of... Stuck in Br'er Rabbit's Briar Patch. That's where we are. Don't throw me in this place! Because it's full of blood-sucking gnats! And they're annoying. Let's swing you. The heck is the <laughs> music doing anyway? Ooh. It sounds like... Well, there goes that wolf spider. And that one. And that one. Anybody else? No? That's good. Oh, wait. Yes, there are. Yeah, you can take down these guys pretty easily simply by attacking them and they'll get knocked down, but if they do manage to hit you, you'll get knocked down too. Ugh. Where am I supposed to be now? Splat. That's not good. We seem to have stumbled into a den of Black Widow Spiders. And we can't get out until we beat them all. The Black Widow Spiders are fast, they are dangerous, and they are a lot more durable than their spindly appearance would have you believe. They can also poison you very easily. And if they poison you with a bite, then that's going to hurt for a good long time and it'll drain your health. They can also, uh, spin webs on the ground in order to trip you up and, uh, make you stuck for a little while. And if they're not running to attack you, that's what they're gonna be doing, spinning those little webs. Booga booga booga. Well, that's that. Our next adventure goal is find the Widow's Cathedral, which sounds a lot more intimidating than it actually is. Is this the way out? I think it is. Well, yes, it is the way out. I actually got completely turned around the first time I played this, and I was about halfway back to the start of the game, and I was thinking, what the heck, why have I not encountered anything dangerous yet? Oh, wait! Because I'm a moron, that's why. Don't be afraid to lunge right over the... Uh -oh. Well, that looks promising. Onward to the cathedral. Onward. Up and away! Oh, great. These spiggity spooky spiders are spooky. Ow. And since there's two of them, they're a real danger if you're not prepared. The white ones are, uh, I... Th I forget, the white ones are more dangerous than the flame knee tarantula ones. And they do have more health, and they're attacks do more damage. And they do like to pile on and attack you, and they can jump to dodge quite easily. <clears throat> and yes, they... I'm not sure if they have the same webbing attack that our tarantula does, but... They're still pretty dangerous, especially since there's two here. Bite! And there he goes. So that's the end of that. Now let's head a bit. Oh boy, that's a rattlesnake tail. That ain't healthy. Yep, there's scrub back there. Yep, 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 yippers. Oh boy, lunch. Aw, oh, it's lunch for him. Which is lunch for him. 
The food chain, ladies and gentlemen. You're a part of it. Well, great. Now we're stuck in the middle of this briar patch with the rattlesnake god knows where. There's some, actually some uh, concept art that shows a big crow trying to attack the rattlesnake and trying to attack the tarantula in the middle of this briar patch. And I think that was supposed to be a game mechanic that got dummied out because we never actually get attacked by any crows in the game. You see them in the very way distance uh, perched on power lines and such. Or are those vultures? Big birds, anyways. Let's... Uh oh Alright. Here is our target. Goodbye. No. You do have to go up against this scorpion as well. Chomp. You can poison him in the process. Which is always very helpful. That's the end of that scorpion. Now let's get the heck out of here. That tarantula fight was one of the hardest, uh parts of the game, to be honest. <clears throat> Certainly harder than the scorpion fight. So we move on out, and we... Oh, there's that cell phone I was telling you about in that last tarantula part. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed. Please eat the leaf cricket and try again later. Oh, so it's every two leaf crickets. That makes some sense, except why would there be 17 of that? Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's what happened! It was an old flip phone! No wonder he got killed! <laughs> Saving progress... ...and moving on out. That's the end of that, little spider. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me, a giant hairy spider! Boogie 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 boo! Wait, you know how spider knock knock jokes go? They go knock 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 who's there? Knock 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 who's there? It's the tarantula. How did you know? Annoyance. Goodbye. Hello, knob. You'll encounter more wolf spiders heading up this region. But you can again knock them off, just make sure they don't knock you off first. What the? <laughs> I didn't even knock that guy down. He just fell down himself. Convenient. Double strike combos. Oh, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> Stupid gnats. Knew I went to grab that one. Now, it should also be noted that, again, you can't go upside down, even on these things. And you can tell which side of the root, vine, plant, whatever is upside down, because it has uh, sort of a layer of black... Spanish moss, uh, mold, rot, black hanging gunk in its way. Which way do we go? Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. You don't want to intrude on the gunk, because if you walk onto the gunk, it'll count as you being upside down, and you'll slip and you'll fall and you die. You can jump over some of these thorns, you can go around other ones, but there's always a way up. Away. There is a bit of platforming in this game. Surprise, surprise. But it's really... The platforming really takes second place to the exploration of the combat mechanics. And you'll get more combat mechanics constantly throughout the game. So you'll never really get bored and... Whoa! Boy, I almost went off the edge there. So you'll never get bored and want new combat mechanics, because you'll always have some new one. I think I'll save my progress. <laughs> that quick going, Oh no! He's frozen me in time! Where the heck are we, anyway? Uh oh Oh no! Hey, a nice soft web is there to catch me. Yikes. I think we found the Widow's Cathedral. Yes, this is it, by the way. The Widow's Cathedral is a big old cactus in the middle of the desert that the Black Widows have made a home in. And they've got all of these things, and you have to use the quick time event in order to shake yourself free of the web. And because if you don't, they'll land on the web with you, and they'll swarm right up to you, and they'll eat you. So, you don't want that to happen. Kind of a horrible way to die. That bright red spider, by the way, is a crimson widow. They're 
Well, the Crimson Widows are to the Black Widows what the White Tarantulas are to the regular Tarantulas. They're a little stronger, have a little better health, and they're a little more aggressive. But they're also a lot rarer, so nothing too much to worry about. Fortunately, Black Widow Spiders in this game, as in real life, are not very aggressive. <coughs> Ow! Great, I got poisoned by a Crimson Widow. So now I'll eat this Black Widow's head. Um, chomp, 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 chomp. And now we get the Web Jump. It's a very unusual new ability in that, it, well, it allows us to jump around like Spider-Man on drugs. How do I mean that? Well, check this out. You get yourself ready. You aim at what's these uh, glowing spider web thingies, and then you do that. You launch yourself up along the web, and you get out. Uh -huh. You just move between the uh, chunks of cactus. Up, up and away in my beautiful balloon. Out. And up we go. The further along you move, the uh, easier it'll be to find a way out, ideally. Ah, there's a way out. Yoink! Spider, 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 spider. Does whatever a spider does. Can he swing from a web? Yes, he can. It's bizarre. Look out! Here comes the spider spider. It's a spider with all the powers of a spider. Not to be... Not to be confused with Man Man, who is a man with all the powers of a man. He can run at about 15 miles an hour for short distances and, uh... Much longer distances at, uh... Much reduced pace. He can think, he can hold a pencil, he can write, he can read. And... Through! Hmm. Not quite what I had in mind. By the way, you will be hearing, uh... Billy Bob Thornton and Dennis Hopper's characters talking. And this is one of those places where they will start talking about halfway through, so I'm going to shut up when they start talking and see if we can't hear what they have to say. I could swear I hear somebody's voice. Regardless. Uh-oh. Feet and steps. He'd put his brother in the coffin with the other part of the map still in his coat. Well, let's hope it ain't all rotted out. I'm counting on it. So how come your old man never went looking for this stuff himself? So in case you couldn't hear that, uh, Dennis Hopper's character is telling Billy Bob Thornton's character that apparently a long time ago, his great-grandfather, I think, was a was in the Sonora Desert fleeing from a whole bunch of, uh... fleeing from a bunch of bounty hunters because he'd apparently stolen a great big lockbox full of gold <clears throat> from the Confederate government during the Civil War. But... Uh, during the getaway, <clears throat> something happened to his brother, he got killed, and, uh... His, the guy's grandfather gets decided to give him a decent burial, but... What he didn't realize, or was too rushed to figure out at the time, was that he'd accidentally buried his brother with the lockbox, with the uh, second half of the map, to where they buried the lockbox full of gold, still in his pocket. So now they're g going out to dig up his his great granduncle, his great uncle. They go out to dig the guy up and to get the other half of the map up because apparently his uh-oh. His dad never went looking for the treasure. Ah, 
Come on out of there, you. <coughs> Fuck you. 